Sir Tap Tap here. Welcome back to Minecraft and looky what I found. This looks like a sizable little cave. This is just something I found in the middle of my little tiny cave last episode. But there's some iron, so I'll be getting that. And hopefully there might be even deeper pits. There's... Oh, there's another area that's actually kind of dangerous because it's dark. And darkness is where monsters spawn. Oh my god, there's more iron. I love you, iron. Come here. I want to love you with my pickaxe. That sounds horrible. Oh, there's... Wow. This is a sort of complicated cave. Which... That's good, but... I don't have much of a means of defending myself. So I'm going to be very careful. And I'm going to try to light up every possible corner. Look how deep this thing is. Okay, there we go. Now no monsters will spawn in this area. And if you're unlucky, monsters will have already spawned in dark areas, so... If you hear monsters or you see them, don't go in an area, obviously. And here's some more coal. I already got some more coal before the after the episode ended, but more coal is always nice. You'll use a lot. Depending on what you do anyway, but torches need a lot. You also need some to actually use iron. You have to use coal to forge them into iron ingots. Then you can make iron pickaxes or iron weapons. I'm actually going to start making some iron right now. Let's get in the middle of this cave thingy here. This is a good place to stop. Once again, I don't have my workbench with me, but whatever. But I also don't have my forge, but whatever. I end up making lots of these and leaving them in random caves every friggin' where. This is actually sort of dangerous. We're just gonna... Spooky sound. Is that a train? There's a train in this cave. Oh, and if you hold shift, you can actually walk just slightly off the edge of a block without falling into a pit. That's pretty nice. That's sort of a new feature in the one of the latest alpha versions. But now that we have coal here, and iron here, we can make some iron ingots. And it's sort of slow, just like cooking meat. But you can actually just close the window, and it continues. And you can even just save the game and leave it. And the stuff will still be in the furnace. At least I'm pretty sure it will. And this cave is looking slightly dangerous, so... I will be wanting to make a sword, and uh, iron pickaxe is pretty vital. Without an iron pickaxe, you can't get... You can't get diamond or gold ore. Yep, we have enough to make an iron pickaxe. Same shape as before. There we go. And I'm not going to use it because it's not currently going to be any helpful. It will dig a lot faster, and it's more durable, but I would rather save it for ores that actually need it. And I'm going to try and light this place up. Good for that corner. No, that corner is not very dangerous. And don't think just because you see dirt in a cave that you're near ground, because dirt can really spawn at any level. It's just a lot less likely down here. See, there's some more dirt. And I found another. Ooh, I found water. And I'm kind of surprised there haven't been monsters yet. 
I'm very glad though. Speaking of, I'm going to go make that sword. So I really should have that. You can make a stone stone sword too, it's okay, but the iron one's a lot better. To make a sword, you just do this. And you want to keep that in your inventory, your usable inventory there. Because that will actually save your life, hopefully. And let's go put some torches in this room. Oh, crap. Oh! I hear a monster. It's a zombie. Uh, where are you, zombie? Oh, crap. I hope it's not above me. You can't imagine how horrifying it is to have a zombie frickin' fall on your head. It happens more often than you would think. It sounds closer than it is, but... I don't really want to go too much closer into this cavern. Especially not while lagging. This game is made in Java, so it sort of does tend to lag. Really, zombie, where are you? I would like to know where you are. Mr. Zombie. Can Mr. Zombie come out and play? Come on, place it. Okay, Mr. Zombie. You are a jerk, and I am leaving. That's all I have to say to you, Mr. Zombie. Very disappointed in you. You could have come out and played. And I could have stabbed you in the face with a sword, but no. You're laying like that. Hmm. I'm actually going to plug this spring here. With dirt. I usually have more useless blocks like dirt in my inventory. If you erase a water thing like that, all the water will disappear, and you can actually dig out that block and there won't be water anymore. Crap. Those are bad noises. Ooh! That is a good noise. Okay, let's get the siren. This is pretty much what your first cave experience will probably be like. Lots of horror and not wanting to go near monsters. Oh my god, it's a freaking skeleton. Oh my god. Let's not... Let's never go there again. I'm going to cover that freaking thing up with gravel. Because skeletons suck and I hate them and I want them to all die. If you haven't fought a skeleton, you have no right to question why. They shoot friggin' arrows at you and are generally very painful. I think he's in there, so I'm gonna just run. Like hell. And that sound is a skeleton. Skeletons are definitely not worth fighting at this point. You can probably take on a zombie if you're careful. But if you see spiders or skeletons, you want to run. And... Wait. Oh, that's the way I want. Oh, there's the zombie. I think I'm going to go kill that zombie. Wait, is that another one? No, I just see one. Are you stuck, Mr. Zombie? Poor Mr. Zombie. Stuck behind a waterfall. Oh, he's definitely stuck, so I'm gonna plug this spring. And it's not what I meant. Well, that doesn't do what I intended, but whatever. Let's be brave. And kill this trapped zombie. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Should probably make some more torches.
I should probably go get some more coal. I'm going to go find that furnace, because I forgot and left all of that stuff. Probably like a monster right next to it now. Oh, there we go. There's all of our processed iron. There's that coal we need. Oh, I need sticks too. We'll use lots of sticks. Oh, I already had sticks, but whatever. I like to have 64 torches, at least. Or just a stack. It's the preferred terminology, I guess. And with iron, you can also make... You can make armor out of it. Like, this is how you make pants. Iron pants. And this is how you make a helmet. And I guess I won't make... You can also make a chest plate, but... I'm almost out of iron. So... Hmm. We will carefully continue on to this cave. You generally want to be more prepared before you start fighting monsters, but... I'm only f playing on normal, so it's not too bad. Though you definitely want to make sure to light everything up so you can mine in peace. Plus, if you don't put torches, it's really hard to freaking see. And they also let you know where you've been, so... It's generally just really dumb not to leave torches everywhere. I'm not sure, like, what exact luminance you need to not spawn monsters, but generally anything above the absolute darkest that will appear, well, not quite that dark, but, you know, just a little brighter than the cave was before, and it should be good, hopefully. But if you die for my bad advice... You know, I guess let me know and I won't give bad advice, maybe. Eh, this is just coal. What am I doing? I'm sorry for the lag, but... Spooky noise. As I said, this is a Java game. I think that's probably part of why. If you don't know much about Java, it's... The programming language that lets you develop for all platforms at the same time, but the trade-off is that... Oh, whoa. We can get outside and it's daylight. Anyway, the trade-off is lower performance. And it's generally not too bad when I'm not recording, but it's really a lot worse than I would expect from this sort of, you know, graphics and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to even be able to get up straight from here. But we're going to try. I really would like to leave a landmark. Oh, God. Yeah, that's why you don't dig straight up, people. Certain blocks are affected by physics, and they can fall on your head. And they can suffocate you to death. Oh, yep. All of these gravel and sand are affected by gravity, so... Never ever dig up. Never dig straight up, anyway. Up, oh, and it's nighttime again. But whatever, I want to dig all the way out. I'll probably. Yeah, I'll be ending the video before I get out, but. This is generally a good idea to make a good. quick way out. And something you can mark. I usually leave a bunch of torches around whatever cave. A cave that has good stuff in it, anyway. Yeah, I definitely can't get to the top before the video ends. Thanks for watching!